Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil. From today, we are just going to start a new project on the Angular with the name of Resto. What is the meaning of Resto? So basically, Resto is a restaurant management system. These are the modules, or you can say that the task of the project. So we have to show a list of the restaurant, uh, how we can add the restaurant, how we can just update the restaurant, how we can search. Uh, I just forgot to use a search. Put the search module here. I just just write here search and delete uh, the rest and then we can see that how we can uh, log in with the user registration how we can just make the profile and uh, user setting and how we can just use the uh, user profile image and password and all how we can manage these things and we will also see that uh, how we can add the bootstrap also so this everything will be done with the apis there is a nothing of uh, fake or bogus data everything will be done with the apis and I'm just going to tell you a very simple way to make the APIs. You don't need any server side language knowledge. All right. I will show you uh, in, in, the, in this video also that how you can just make a simple uh, APIs also. And they are totally uh, very customizable also. All right. So these are the project model that we will see uh, one by one in the videos. And these are the things that we are going to going to turn in this video. So first of all, we have to install the uh, angular cli then we will make a uh, angular new project and uh, then we will install the json api server and in this J json api server you will make a new api this is very simple you don't need to uh, worry that uh, it will all we have to uh, learn these things also but don't worry this is very easy all right and then we will install the postman why install the postman because when you are just starting with the apis then you must have to know about the postman how it's working because here all the only place where you can just test the APIs. If you are integrating the APIs without testing, you may don't know that the error is coming from the API side or from viewer side. All right. When you just uh, uh, get the intermediate level or expert level experience in the Angular and uh, the front end side, then you may just know that uh, this is the uh, server side error or a uh, uh, front-end side error but at the initial level you must have to try every API with the postman first then you have to just integrate it all right so uh, now let's start with the uh, things that how we can install so first of all we have to install the CLI so that uh, and I am just going to think everything with the uh, official website so that you can also capture the data and the code that I'm just going to uh, do in the upcoming videos you will get on my description uh, description linked um, github link all right you can just get the uh, complete code from here so now let's start so i am just going to start here angular cli in the google just write it here and let's open the first link all right and here you can just install the npm install minus g angular cli guys one more thing uh, first of all let's go in the folder where just we want to make our project so just write here angular here you can see that there is a two project only so i'm just going to create a third one here so npm and node is installed before install these things before just uh, starting with the this project so i'm expecting that a node and npm is installed on the system if there are not installed then this command will not going to work uh, in your system all right so now just run this command with the sudo why i'm just using the sudo here because this is my Ubuntu system, Linux based, and we, uh, this G means it will just install this Angular CLI on your root level, all right? And to install everything on a root level, we must have to use the sudo. In window or Mac, you may don't need that, all right? So here you can see that Angular CLI is installed. Now let's clear the command line and just create a new project. So for the new project, we just you just need to have to run the ng new and your project so let's say my project name is resto here and just hit the enter and it will just ask first some time that you just want to enter uh, routing yes we need the angular routing so we can just select the yes all right and uh, it will just take around uh, two to three minutes and within this time uh, let's uh, just look out into the uh, json server all right so just right here uh, JSON let's uh, you can just directly go on the this link also but uh, just type uh, JSON API 
server all right just go on that one and you can directly go on a first link this is the type code json server all right and here you will see this is a very simple way to make the apis first of all we have to install it also so just install it the server and uh, i'm just going to open the one more tab if you are using uh, uh, windows then you may, ha may have to just open the new terminal you cannot open the two tabs like this right so just use the sudo and this command line right and it will ask the this password and you can just install it like this so within that time i am just going to create a folder here with the name of db just write here db like this all right and in this folder uh, i am just going to uh, okay angular is installed so first of all let's uh, the both things are installed so let's make uh, uh, a db file before uh, then we will just start with the angular cli all right so why we are just going to make a db.json file because uh, this will provide the apis only one file will provide the complete api all right so now just write here touch okay so just go inside the db folder and just write here touch and touch your file name db.json right and this file is created here let's check yes now let's open this file and just add this simple json all right so what is the benefit of creating this json because I, as i told you that this will going to provide an api to you okay so now uh, this is also done now how we can just run this server to run this server you just have to use this command json server minus minus watch db all right so just run it simply here and now you can see that your complete server is here so you if i'm just going to open this link now you can see that congratulations you, your json server is running and blah 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 here you can see that there is three apis this post comment and profile here you can see that there is a data also so how they made how they are just uh, apis are automatically created all right so here you can see that here we are just creating the three arrays post comment and profile these are the apis even you can see that how simple is your apis so i will just told you that uh, everything about that how you can test and all with that postman so just uh, remove these things so i can just show you that how you can just add the data and all everything here so just save it and now you can see that uh, there is only one api all right post this so let's try to add some more data so if you just want to add some more data then you can just copy it and okay let's copy it like this and paste it you can i provide the id to json server 2 and type code is also 2 now let's see are we getting the second data uh, uh let me check what's wrong with it uh, i think we just have to uh yeah because this this is goes to, to the comma extra comma so now you can see that we are getting the complete api here so even everything is possible with the angular it can just create the data and everything uh, from the apis upcoming videos we will explore it also so now you can see that our angular project is also created here so now let's uh, just go in the resto and just open in the uh, code editor so here you can see that this is a complete project so we will explore it in the um, upcoming uh, videos but uh, now let's start it ng sir with this command it will just going to be start with the ng server all right so we learned the two things how we can just make the op apis here and uh, uh, with this uh, json server and angular is also installed uh, one point is point is pending here which is uh, that how we can install the postman i will just tell you within a moment so i'm just going to wait for the starting of the angular server because at the first time it will just take some little bit time that 
this is about to run yeah now this is running so I can just run it here on this so now you can see that our boss server is running perfectly so now let's see that how we can install the postman so this is postman is working but let's close it go in the Google just right here postman Chrome you will find the first link just click on it postman Chrome and uh, here you will find a Google Chrome extension at th that you are just seeing that launch app uh, at that place maybe you will find it installed and you can just click on and then your uh, postman will be installed on these areas all right so if uh, your postman is not able you are not able to see it here that means you have a lots of extension and then you have to go in the apps this option is here and then let's click on a postman wow so this is installing so uh, now let's see that how we can just test this api also so just copy it from here and just close it close it and just try to run it now you can see that a get api is working fine and two results are here all right awesome so thanks for watching this video in the upcoming videos we will uh, more explore the postman uh, and uh, how we can just uh, test the APIs with the Postman, how we can create it with the Postman because Postman is a required and essential thing when you start with uh, any front end library or framework. So, bye bye, take care. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye, take care.